Hey everyone, and happy Friday to you here. I'm coming on to do what we're going to equate as a special report. Uh, I've been asked by some of you as the audience members, as well as our management team, and even the leadership team of this respective channel to do this uh, podcast. So it'll be a very brief one. Um, this is to give you what we believe to the best of our ability, an overview of what we see happening in the days and weeks ahead uh, for the rest of this month into September. Now, full disclosure, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not constituted as financial advice. I'm merely giving you information uh, that we deem to be credible and to the best of our ability, what we can see happening. So just take it with all of that. Now, if for some reason um, we do get censored here today, you can go to our backup channels on Rumble and BitChute under my name. And of course, if you're on Telegram, some of this information you've already seen this morning, if you're not, we humbly recommend that you go join the channel so that you can be appraised of all the latest news and events that are happening to date. Okay, with all that being said, here's what we see folks in the road ahead for your request. So let's deal with the immediate. Today, two big things are happening. Number one, RFK Jr. is set to address the nation through the DNC as one of its last days of the conference, whereby he is planning to withdraw from the presidential election. He's expected high degree of probability to give his full support behind President Trump. This will in turn tank the polls for Kamala even more as we know they are manipulated and, and toyed with like the unemployment numbers that we always discuss. Um, but what that will do is force Obama and the deep state henchmen to go ahead and throw the Biden under the bus due to an undisclosed medical illness, which we have been saying for a while and to the credit of PI PIR known as Phoenix. He has been saying this for nearly a year now. So we knew this day would come. We just didn't know the exact timing. This looks to be in all probability, the timing of this event, which means that she will be installed as the interim president through the month of September and October, if we get that far, uh, until President Trump comes back optically. Um, just so you are aware, to give you peace of mind, a lot of viruses that have been put out there, as well as Agenda 25 and Agenda 30, the Lord has already shown us that that is going to be stopped and canceled. They will still try, but they will not be successful. And with your prayers and support, and wait behind that, this will ensure that to continue forward. Uh, Zimbabwe elections are today, as many of you may know, uh, Nelson Chamisa is the people's president. Again, they will try to cheat and give it to Mangala, but ultimately Chamisa will win as Trump will win. And uh, we know what that's going to represent for the Zimbabwe bonds and many other things, the zig. So just keep praying about that as, as we gain ground and victory there. As a result of Kamala being installed, the real reason for this is so that she can give herself secret service protection for life. She's going to need it because many of these evil deep state people will not be safe to roam the streets when the public finds out what they've been doing all this time. Don't be surprised to see during the month of September, China, Taiwan spark off, uh, which we know is pivotal for Vietnam to be freed up enough out of communism for what we're anticipating. President Putin is getting ready to do an all out assault on Ukraine, which just ostensibly means he's gonna end this, this uh, endless news cycle of fake news, trying to uh, gin up that story that Ukraine is the good guys and Russia's bad and they're winning and all the lies we know are just inversely the opposite. He's gonna put the hammer down and end this. So don't be surprised to see that happen in the month of September. We know for sure the interest rate, Powell's even come out as a yes man today and said that that rate is going to be dropping by 50 basis points on September 18th. So this will all fall in line in the next, should fall in line, I should say, within the next, we'll say, two to three and a half weeks, conservatively. Now, we're not giving dates and rates, just giving you a timetable of what we see happening. Um, full acknowledgement and appreciation to our team. And of course, honorary mention to John Nagoni, as you better known as Currency 365 or Eyes Open Media. He's very, very prophetic and has been right many times in the past. So the dinar will happen in an unusual way in a why, why now moment. And we believe these events are highly attributable to the outcome of what we're expecting. Again, not dates and rates, just giving you puzzle pieces as what we see happening. So uh, it's going to be a very exciting, contentious, optical time for the country and the world as these things pop off. Now, remember, don't look at how things appear to be, but what's happening beneath the surface. Those of you on this channel, those of you who will be following are probably well appraised of that. Again, this is just to give you the roadmap ahead. So that's what we see happening. Uh, thank you for your time. We pray that this blessed you. 
Uh, enjoy the rest of the uh, podcasts that are going to be coming out today in conjunction with this update and have a great rest of your weekend and day. Take care.